Well, good morning. Happy Vlogmas. Uh, day three already. Crap. So, um, I have my outfit on that I do my pictures in. So every two weeks I do pictures and, uh, and like measurements to go over, um, you know, my, my progress in my program. So that's what I'm doing next. He's up already. Up and talking stuff. About the chocolate. Oh, yeah, let's do our chocolates. Since I weighed myself already. <laughs> All right, now it's smart, and I pulled this out and got the stupid tinfoil out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, this, we're getting, we didn't get a very good variety this year. There's no variety, but the pictures are different. <laughs> yeah, and mine's dark chocolate. That's the, that's what I get. Dark chocolate. No, I'm actually not furious. <laughs> Okay, took pictures and I weighed myself and I'm still at 165 after eating out last night, so I'm happy about that. Uh, but now I gotta take measurements. Okay, changed into my actual gym clothes since I got the, all my stuff done, so measurements and all that, but yeah, uh, only, I only date beasts. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, got to get my sweats on over top and we're going to head over to the gym. All right, all bundled up and off to the gym once again. <laughs> This is my morning ritual, you could say. Like I said, still have some rest days in there, but for the most part, I really try to get to the gym. Uh, makes me feel good about myself. Uh, feels good to just get that stuff done. I usually listen to music while I'm doing it. Um, or the news, or the podcast, stuff like that. So, so we're walking over that way. It's across the street. Doing ladders today. Do this on Saturday, and I kicked my ass. So I'm ready for a good ass kicking again today. That's the first set uh, Turkish get ups and uh, uh, V ups and a one minute plank. So now I'll do a, another, a whole nother set, different exercises for another seven minutes. Whew. <coughs> All right, last set. I'm gonna do some back exercises and we'll be good. All right, 
stairs. That's it for ladders. Now it's got some back exercises and we'll be done. All right, all done. 50 minute workout. Got to do a cool down walk home, obviously. But uh, I'll have to get some coffee. All right, leaving the gym for a nice walk home. And feeling good. Like I said, I always feel better when I go to the gym. Um, happy I maintain, maintained my weight. Uh, from yesterday after having Mexican, but I really planned out my meals to make that happen because <laughs> you know when you eat out You're just gonna end up eating a lot of more a lot more calories um, And it's harder to track it because you don't know exact ingredients usually uh, depending on where you go, but Whew. So yeah um, So what's on the docket for today? Well um, Before coffee, I need to shower <laughs> because since I got my hair all nice and repurpled, um, it's gonna kind of get everywhere. I have to put it under a wig tomorrow um, and it'll sweat and, and then start leaking purple. So, um, so yeah, first thing I need to do is wash my hair. Um, we call it Killing Barney because uh, the first wash is just like purple everywhere in the shower. Uh, I remember the first time it happened to me, I was just like, uh, did I do something wrong? Like, why is so much purple coming out? Should it stay in? <laughs> but yeah, and then the second or third wash, a little, you know, some purple comes out. But uh, like, by the fourth wash or so, it's, uh, that, it's pretty normal. Um, and that's with cold water washing. Like, I don't let warm water touch my hair. And that's how it stays nice. Um, it doesn't fade as fast. Although this last time it faded a bit because <laughs> because I uh, put, I let it down in the pool and so a mix of chlorine and it was actually a very warm pool in Palm Springs and so it faded really bad in in the length but <sighs> I'm not gonna do that again not that I'll be, have a chance to be at a pool anyway probably unless the hotel next week does on but all right. Almost home, and we're gonna kill Barton. Got a nice sunrise happening here. As I come up, there's a park next to our building. <sighs> yeah, nice little sunrise happening. All right, I'm home, and uh, Ryan is at work, and so. Time to get the shower going. All right, freshly clean out of the shower. My favorite back girl robe. <laughs> it's time to get some coffee. And then we gotta edit the vlog from yesterday still. I need to unload the dishwasher as well.
All right, I'm gonna try this. I try to do this every year and I always mess it up, but I wanna do like me editing a video log of me editing a video log of me editing a video log all the way through the month. So let's give this a try. So here I am editing uh, day two and it's day three. And in the video, I'm editing day one. So there you go. Okay, we got Vlogmas day two uploading. And it's time for some more coffee, some yogurt. I already ate all my, I ate my green beans. Um, oh, and I got to fill up with water too. I got this big old water thing. Just make sure I get, like, this is like, what, 64 ounces or something? And so, you know, I drink a bunch at the gym. And then if I drink this whole thing, like I'm in pretty good shape for water for the day. And then I usually have another, like a 16 ounce glass of lunch as well. Throw some meal in there. So yeah, just making sure I get enough water. Okay, having some decaf, I'm making some decaf. And uh, actually, so I have a, I was talking to Ryan yesterday and I've just been thinking about, in general, like trying to lower my waist footprint. It's just like how much, you know, stuff do we throw away? Um, and so starting with the Keurig thing, I know the Keurig, like we talk about, there's landfills full of these stupid Keurig cups. And so I actually, for Christmas uh, a couple of years ago, my aunt got me, I have them in that, in the cup back there, but my aunt got me um, regular ground coffee and I don't have a regular coffee maker. And so I found these little Keurig cups that are reusable and the purple and you just fill them up with the coffee. So um, that just feels like a, a less of a waste. Um, you know, it's a little more work cause you have to clean them out, um, that kind of stuff, but yeah, just trying to start thinking about ways to lower my waist footprint um, and starting with that. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, we've got our yogurt and our decaf and I'm gonna start planning the meals for the day and maybe get to, and try to get some work done as well. So let's do it. Hey, who's right. back? And I got you something. Yeah, what'd you get me? Yeah, a low carb peanut butter smoothie thing. Yeah, that's my lunch. A lot of protein in there and uh and it's good. <laughs> that's how it's work. It was actually pretty good. Good. Okay. I'm all changed and I'm wearing pajama pants today because we're not going anywhere, so my Supergirl shirt has a built-in cape <laughs> and doing my last day of left today all right well it's not a whole lot to do at work for my last day of lift um, scheduled a, uh, well Kurt scheduled a goodbye meeting with some, with some friends from my team and stuff like that so I'm gonna play some Genshin because I can. Happy Friday. All right, getting set up to have a little virtual going away party, I guess, so. My last like meeting at Lyft. Um, we all they said we like grab a drink, but I'm just drinking water with meal in it because I don't want the extra calories from uh, alcohol. But yeah, should be good. Uh, it has been an absolute pleasure working with you. 
um, you're going to be very sorely missed. And uh, I hope you have fun at early stage. It can be a lot of fun. Vince, how's it going? Well, I mean, okay, considering why I'm on this call. No. <laughs> How are you? That's the question. <laughs> I'm good. It's been it's been a mix of uh, kind of bittersweet all week. I feel like you're not gonna put the lift Seattle office one last time in your background. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't even know if I I don't even know where that went. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. Wait, you gotta you gotta change it to a, a New York skyscraper now. <laughs> right. Would <laughs> <laughs> that be quite work? <laughs> Well, you know, I have to say you're 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 right on top of everything, or you're you're in front of me and and all this. So, <laughs> so who's gonna carry on all of the culture stuff you did? You had to have nominated somebody. Oh I yeah, Judy's sure gonna be. A, Ju <laughs> <laughs> He's got Jerry Kander background. Best Twitch stream. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, I think I'm gonna miss like showing up on Monday morning and have a like one-on-one. -on -one. Be like, what'd you, what'd you do this weekend? And be like, oh, I finished my novel. <laughs> I'd be like, what? <laughs> and like, oh yeah, and I did a 24-hour stream on my Twitch channel, and then I tore my ACL. Doctors think it's gonna be like six months, <laughs> but I'll probably be back in a in two. You know, it's like. I slept all weekend. I didn't do anything. <laughs> We're gonna miss you, Jericho. Thanks. I'm gonna miss all of you. All right. Watching our little anime together. It's an anime of a visual story novel video game that I played recently. So it's actually a kind of interesting parallel okay? dimension theory story. And leftovers from yesterday. Well, that's it. 26 episodes and uh, probably still shorter than trying to play the ending of that game <laughs> like seriously so this visual story novel game was really cool it had like it's choose your own adventure parallel dimension all this stuff but then the final route that you're supposed to take is just this it took literally all day to play it it was crazy oh. it was not exciting to be perfectly honest I'm more than a little bit jealous of oh, yeah, he's got Keiko with him. And do you know why? All right, so yeah, that's that's it. If you're if you're interested, it's this. Uh, it's called You Know. You Know, a girl who chants love at the end of this world. There's an anime as well as a, a game, visual story novel game. And I I got tons of entertainment out of the game. Um, just the, the very Except there was little hiccup. Yeah, the ending branch just takes forever, and it, you don't get to do any of the choices or anything at that point but it also just takes the plot and completely out, out of this world. And yeah, it's, you weren't expecting it at all. Let's put it that way. So anyways, I'm officially, uh, well, it's like seven o'clock now and I'm officially not at Lyft anymore. Um, they, I saw that actually I could still log into my Gmail, but, but they took me off of GitHub and uh, Slack already. So. <laughs> But yeah, it's official. So now I decided to play some Doki Doki literature. Doki Doki. What is it? Doki Doki. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. And it's got starting to get a little fucked up. Yeah, this game's getting a little freaky. Getting freaky deaky. It's possessed. <laughs> play with me. Ah! Oh fuck! Shit. Wait, that's the end? <laughs> okay, it's not the end. This, uh, this game's a little fucked up. I have to agree. I was waiting for it to get fucked up because it's really boring at the beginning.